welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish and Reviewing Baidu. Baidu was the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day. Today, a gap down. This was earnings. It was a nice gap. The low of the day actually was set fairly early in the morning. I'm going to show, well, actually, no, let me blow up the daily. So here's what it did. Closed the night before at 164.95. Boom. Open in the morning, down, fell. Low of the day, you can see here was 156.80. I tried to hold this a little bit longer than I should have. I was distracted this morning. The market was falling. I was watching a lot of different things. Uh, some people had a perfect, perfect, perfect exit in this today, though, I will say. Just go over here. So, anyways, here's where it closed. Here's where it gapped down. For those of you that don't know, I do only gaps. And I mostly like to short. This was a short. Uh, so again, this didn't go as far as I would have liked it to today, but some people did it and got out immediately. I thought it would keep going. So again, it's very difficult to have a low of the day exit in every short or a high of the day exit in every long. I did the best I could with this though. I, just, I like it. I still think this is lower, but I ended up getting out of it obviously with profit. It was a train. It was a train, but it's so funny how it just crashed in the morning so quickly there. Where do I think this would go from here? 156, it never got there. It tried, 155, possibly lower. Will this depend on the market? Not, not necessarily, not necessarily. I mean, here's the overall chart of this. I mean, this has been falling now for so long. The last time that this stock made brand new all-time highs, I'll tell you exactly, was, February, I was gonna say March. No, it was February this year. A very, very, very long time ago. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. You know, for whatever reason, this has been falling. Again, I don't follow fundamentals, I follow the gap. It was a good short today, it worked, it went. Do I think it's lower? Yes, but we'll have to see when and how fast. I think this is gonna be on its own though. I think this could continue falling without the market is my point. I don't think anyone's gonna buy this. I could be wrong, but I don't think anyone's going to because nobody really bought it today. This is lifting slightly here. Really only, it just is lifting because we're getting into the close. Like it dropped, open, dropped, fell hard, fell, pittered out, based out, and now into the close. You know, there are, I don't trade into the close usually, but there are people that just do trades into the close. Like they'll do the reverse of a move. That's not what I do. I don't want to sit all day and watch for that. I like to be done in the morning quick. I was done quick this morning, but not as quick as as that first drop, which if you which some people had that beautiful exit. I mean, that was a beautiful exit. Anything with a 156 today in front of it was a really nice exit. Anyways, it's been a good week. It's been a good earning season. A lot of nice day trades here by me called lately. We'll see where we go. We'll see where we go tonight. Disney's out tonight. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Looking for a good one tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be Disney or something else, but I'm going to do my best to rate the best thing. If you're interested in the Golden Gap course, the next class is August 28th and 29th. That is the last class for a while because then it's Labor Day, September. My birthday, September is a really busy month for me. So if you want to get in to trade for this fall period, really, this is the next class, the end of the month. Email me at melissathestockswish.com if you have any questions or you can call me at 929-3200-GAP. Have a great day.